What's up guys, it's the Central Man here, back again with another video, so this could be my WWE Extreme Rules 2019 predictions. The show will be at the Wells Fargo Center in Philly, Pennsylvania. Ten matches on the card. Um, my guide here, there's going to be two matches on the pre-show. The first match could be on the pre-show, it's always on the pre-show, is the WWE Cruiserweight title match. We got new champion Drew Gulak defending the belt against Tony Nese. Um, it's gonna it's gonna be Drew Gulak beating Tony Nese for the belt. And this match is I guarantee it could be on the pre-show. That could be Alistair Black taking on Cesaro. Um, very weird that Sheamus is not haven't made his return because there is there's still a tag team. There is no break up between Cesaro and uh, Sheamus the bar so it's very weird is he injured Sheamus not too sure so anyway let's uh, predict this match between uh, Ale uh, Black versus Cesaro and it's gonna be Black beating Cesaro yeah they are two good wrestlers but I guarantee Black will beat Cesaro him with the Black Miss and that's it so anyway uh, let's talk about the main matches on the show um, let's talk about the uh, the DDoE Raw Tag Team Championship match, the Revival defending the belt against the Usos. Um, and and so far no match stipulations add into the cards in the the matches on the card. They probably add it in the last minute. You know. Anyway, uh, let's let's get back to the uh, the Raw Tag Team title match. Revival, Revival for Usos. Um, I do not really care about Revival at this point. I, I'm gonna. I'm going to predict Usos winning the belts because they they are former WWE Tag Team Champions. I think they are three or four times SmackDown Tag Team Champions. The only belt, the only Tag Team belt it's eluded the Usos is the Raw Tag Team cha uh, titles. So I'm going to say Usos be winning the titles in Philly. Okay, and then we got the 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 United States title match. Ricochet versus the phenomenal AJ Styles. First pay per view as a heel, you know, ever so, you know after you know he turned heel, teaming up once again with Gallows and Anderson, tacking on Ricochet. They fought a couple of weeks ago. I think they fought two two matches on the row, and Ricochet won twice against AJ. So I guarantee that. Gallows and Anderson will interfere. I don't want to see AJ winning the belt on the show because if they do that, I'll say I said it once. And I'm gonna say it again. The championships in WWE don't mean shit because they keep um uh, doing the brand, just a random towel change for no reason. Ricochet um just won the belt at Stomping Ground. It makes no sense to have a a guy won the championship at the previous pay per view. And went on to lose the belt at the following month's pay per view. So it's gonna be see, it's gonna be Ricochet being AJ, and walk out Philly as still reigning defending United States champion. Okay, moving on to the this is a freeway uh, not freeway a triple threat tag team match for the SmackDown tag team titles. Daniel Bryan and Rowan, the SmackDown tag team champs, defending the belts against the New Day that is Big E Langston and Xavier Woods. Versus Heavy Machinery, that is Otis and Tucker. It's so predictable that's going to be Brian and Rowan walking out Philly, still reigning defending SmackDown Tag Team Champs. Let's move on. And then we got a handicap match for the SmackDown Women's Championship. Bailey, the champion, defending belt against Alexa Bliss and Nikki Cross. I'm gonna go with Bailey, but my, it'll be so predictable that Alexa Bliss will walk out Philly as the reigning defending, really as the new SmackDown Women's Champ. It'll be a typical Vince McMahon pushing a woman who's blonde. I'm not crapping on Alexa. I like Alexa, but this is not the right time. I wouldn't have, but I really put. The, I'd rather have Bailey retain the belt. You know, it's kind of like throwing Nikki Cross into the title map. Uh, into a championship match for no reason, no disrespect for Nikki. What reason why Nikki Cross earns the rights for a title? 
a shot. I don't get it. I just don't get it. So I like Nikki Cross. I like Alexa, but it's going to be Bailey walking out Philly as still reigning defending SmackDown Women's Champion. Okay, and then we got the WWE Championship match. Kofi Kingston versus Samoa Joe. It's super predictable that Kofi is going to walk out Philly as reigning defending WWE champ. But for me, I'm going to go with Samoa Joe, man. I'm going with Samoa Joe. I think Kofi's time is done, nearly done. I think he did defend it well. But people just do not care as Kofi is champion. I like Kofi, but no one, no one cares. Some people kind of care, but for grown men, we just don't want him as champion anymore. Samoa Joe, I think this is time. So I'm gonna say Joe went leaving leaving Philly as the new WWE champ. Okay, and then we got the um, this is a no holds bar tag team match. You got Shane McMahon, best in the world, versus the Scottish um, nightmare that is Drew McIntyre, versus Roman Reigns and The Undertaker. I'm going with Taker and Roman Reigns, but here's a little bit rant, a quick rant. It's just basically WWE once again relying on the part timers, relying on a 54 year old man trying to get. Desperate attempt to get trying to sell out Philadelphia. I guarantee this is not going to be sell up. It will be a typical day day venue. Very, really, not half empty. Just really nearly empty. Because they're trying to fill, fill up the seats. Because Undertaker, a legend, larger than life character, is going to show up. And, and compete in a match. Who's completely past his prime, let's be honest. So, yeah, it's going to be, my predict, it's going to be Taker and Roman beating Shane. And Drew, and then we got really the basically the final match of this prediction show. Um, we got a last chance mixed tag team match. Oh, really, a mixed tag team extreme rules match. Both the WWE Universal and the Raw Women's title on the line. Seth Rollins, the Universal Champion, and the Man Becky Lynch versus Baron Corbin and the Lady Lacey Evans. I'm going to, for me personally. I'm going with Seth and Becky retaining the tag, uh, re basically retaining their championships on the show. I don't want to see Corbin as Universal Champion. For Lacey Evans, if she won it, if if both Corbin and Lacey win it, I'll pi I'll be pissed off, man. If he once again Vince McMahon pushing a woman who's blonde, and basically trying to give gi giving up on Becky. I don't like Lacey Evans. If you like her, hey, more power to you, man. You know. Seth Rollins, I'll do a rant about him some other time, but I'd rather Seth Rollins dropping the belt in a bigger stage. I'd rather he, I'd rather Seth just drop the belt at SummerSlam, than dropping it in a B pay per view. Becky Lynch, nah, not the right time. I'd rather they just like win the match, beat Corbin Lacey, and move on to other challenges. So that's my WWE Extreme Rules 2019 predictions. Hope you like it. Leave your thoughts, comments, section below. Smash the like button and subscribe to the Central Man Network right now on YouTube. So, this is the Central Man officially signing out.